We're standing in our custom family-built home. We are up north in the country, surrounded by beautiful forests, and I really wanted my living space to reflect the outdoors. The entrance to our home is the starting point for what's next to come. You can see the views into the dining space, the expansive forest behind, and I really wanted to make sure that when you were walking in our front entrance, you felt welcomed and it was a connection to the rest of the home. The kitchen is really the main gathering place of our home. It's connected to all of the other spaces throughout. I wanted it to have a classic, comfortable feel with timeless finishes that can be enjoyed by my young family. Handstone's Montauk Quartz countertop was a real jumping off point for the other selections that I made in my kitchen. There's the warmth, which really dictated the color of the cabinetry. There's the gray veining throughout, which helped to choose my backsplash. It's really important that everything felt connected, not too forced, and Handstone's Montauk allowed me to do this. The thing about quartz is that it's very durable. I've got two young kids who are in the kitchen all the time with me. I wanted to make sure that there was something that was scratch resistant, heat resistant, and that would just stand up to the wear and tear of everyday life. And Handstone does that. The other really good thing about using quartz countertops in your kitchen is when your husband spills red wine over the countertops, you don't get upset. Has that happened? Yep. The cabinetry is a classic shaker with a beaded profile. I knew that I wanted to incorporate a little extra detail into the space, which is why I chose that type of door and drawer profile. The backsplash tile was a conscious decision. Overall, the kitchen itself is a lighter neutral tone and I wanted to interject a bit of a contrast. So I chose a classic subway tile, but in a gray blue hue, just to give some contrast and some warmth to the space. I've included some brass light fixtures above the windows to bring in some warmth and some ambience. I've chosen some oversized pendant fixtures above the island. They're a bit of a different tone rather than everything kind of feeling washed out. Again, the contrast is really important to me. For my pantry countertops, I chose Hand Stone's Storm in their river wash finish. The texture and the natural look of the countertop is what really appealed to me. I chose a complete different color for my pantry cabinetry. I went with an inky, deep blue color to really make it feel like it's its own separate space. It has a cozy feel. It's just a little nook off the kitchen that actually gets used quite a lot. The wallpaper that I chose has this vertical floral stripe almost that really helps to set the pantry apart, adds some interest, and it's a really nice detail that I knew I wanted to incorporate. The dining nook is something that you see when you enter the home. So I knew that I really wanted a statement light fixture there. I wanted to incorporate some really eye-catching drapery, something that acts as a space that my family and I use every day. It's just really nice to kind of make it a feature of the home. These chairs were actually a find at a local thrift store. I added a coat of a nice bluey black paint to them to bring in some old warmth and charm. The antler light fixture is something that I wanted to incorporate because it adds an element of natural outdoors connected to where our home is located. The oversized pedestal table fit the nook perfectly. We don't have a formal dining room in this home, so I wanted to make sure that it was something that could easily accommodate extra chairs. The banquette is actually seating for six, almost eight people when you have little kids around the table. So the pedestal base was just the perfect fit. The vaulted ceiling in our formal living space was something that I knew that I wanted to incorporate from day one. So when I was coming up with the plans for the home, I ensured that that space from upstairs wasn't used so we could actually take advantage of the height. We've incorporated a floor to ceiling limestone fireplace with a cast stone mantle. Again, it just adds a lot of texture and warmth and really helps to bring the space together. In terms of the light fixture that I chose for this space, it's quite minimal. Although the scale is large and works for the vaulted ceilings and has a sense of grandness, it's very ornate, it works well because I didn't want it to be the main focus of the room. 
For all of the furnishings, again, I wanted it to have a nod to the outdoor. So I've used muted blues, muted greens, some mossy colors, a lot of browns and beige. I didn't want anything to be overpowering. I wanted it to flow from the kitchen space into the living space. The occasional chairs are upholstered in a beautiful brown velvet fabric. In the corner, I have a chair that I actually use quite often for myself for reading. It has a wicker finish, just brings in some more textures. I chose to do vertical tongue and groove paneling because it adds a bit of a difference in terms of the drywall that can be seen throughout. It adds texture, it adds interest. I've even carried that into part of the backsplash in the kitchen. The finishing touches in terms of artwork really showcase our lifestyle, where we've lived, where we're living now. Um, I've got some found maps of Germany and Italy where we spent time living years back. And then I've also incorporated map artwork of the area where we live now. Not far off the main living space is the entrance that we use primarily. It is where my kids come home from school, they throw their backpacks on the hook. It's a high functioning space for us and it's a good connection point to the rest of our home. The powder room started with the light fixture, which again was a find of the local thrift store. I think I paid $10 for the light. From there, I found a vanity table from a local antique store that I knew I wanted to add a panstone quartz top to. I wanted a contrast of textures, so I chose a natural marble flooring. I've incorporated a beautiful cloud wallpaper and sink. The process of building our own home has been a real labor of love. There's so many details that need to be thought out from the get-go. All of the tile selections, the flooring selections, drawing the cabinetry up, talking with trades, going over details with my husband so he knew what he was getting into. Um, all of that was a long process that required lots of patience, but I'm so happy with the final outcome. Now that our home is finally complete, it is so rewarding to see all of my ideas come together to make a home for my family to enjoy and to really showcase my design aesthetic and the coziness and warmth that I think that all space needs.